and the winner of Crufts 2020 is... Pablo! Congratulations, Pablo. Welcome back to the channel. You join me and Chelsea. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So, with Cruff just being at the weekend, Wait we were thinking. Wait a second. What is all over the lens? The way they light it in it, there's literally some all over it. Oh. <gasps> right, let's just do the video. Let's just, let's just do the video, okay? Right. Where were we at? I can't remember where we We haven't done anything. Oh. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, Crufts has just been, and got me into thinking. Would Pablo be able to compete in Crufts? Because, as you maybe said in another video, we did get invited down, but unfortunately they couldn't be, they did be, 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 we were invited down, but we weren't allowed to take Pablo or Winston because you're not allowed to take your dogs unless you're competing. So we thought, could we compete? Could Pablo compete? Is Pablo up to the breed standard that he could attend Crufts? Now, we're going to completely discount Winston because he's too small at the moment. I want to include him. We're not allowed to include him. Okay. You got to remember, Pablo's our favourite. So we were debating, could we compete next year with Pablo? Because, I mean, we think Pablo's a rather handsome chap. You're goddamn right. Yes, yeah. So, if you go on the Kennel Club website, we'll leave a link in the description, you can look at all the breed standards. So what we're going to go through is going to go through pugs, go step by step on each one, and basically see if Pablo meets the criteria, if he would be accepted. Because I don't think he would be. Now, as I've said, I think Pablo is... A dashing fellow. A rather dashing fellow. But he doesn't meet breed standards, or... I don't think he will. He might. So we'll go through this list one by one and let's see if Pablo meets the breed standard. And remember, breed standard doesn't necessarily mean the Perfect. best dog. Like, that's just a standard. That's just an ideal, what they look for, the kennel club. But like, if you're buying a dog, like in any kind of relationship, you always want to go for the personality. Like I did with Chelsea. So then, Pablo, let's standard. let's see that breed standard. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're going to go through. So have you got the list there? So what's the first one? So the first one is characteristics. They should have great charm, dignity, and intelligence. Pablo, are you the smarts? I think Pablo's personality always comes across, to be fair. Do you have dignity? No, because you poop outside. <laughs> does all the pooping outside. He has a great charm though. Temperament. They should be even tempered, happy, and lively disposition. I think you'd tick all those boxes. I don't know because when it's in, in show, when they do that, he basically can't have this miserable face. You need to smile more. Smile more, mister. Right. General appearance. Decidedly square and cobby. It is. Right. Head and skull. Head and skull. Head, relatively large and in proportion to body. Round, not apple-headed, with no indentation of skull. Indentation of no skull. No indentation? I think his head's quite small. I don't know, I think that's quite small. You've got a pea head. I don't know. No, I guess, I guess that like that, he kind of just looks like a big thumb. Relatively short, blunt, square, not up-faced, nose black, fairly large, with well-open nostrils. Mm-hmm. He's got a nice smooth curve, actually, to his face. So it should be not up-faced at all. How do you mean up-faced? As in, like, his muzzle should be flat to his face, it shouldn't go up at all. Which is why, where I think he'd fall short, because from a side profile, he does his mouth does jut out a bit. No, yeah, his mouth his mouth really slopes out, it doesn't go flat down. You've got a big black nose, though, with good nostrils, so you win in there. Yeah, you've got that. Nice black nose, big nostrils. Wrinkles on forehead, clearly defined without exaggeration. Perfect. Yep. Eyes or nose, never adversely affected or obscured by over-nose wrinkle. Yeah. Pinched nostrils and heavy over-nose wrinkle is unacceptable, should never be heavily. No, his roll sits perfectly above his nose. We can see a nose, that's the main thing. So, right. you got, so you, it's your... It's your mouth. It's Eyes. 
dark, relatively large, round in shape, soft in expression, very lustrous, and when excited, full of fire. That's like a personal opinion, that, isn't it? It's deep. Is he full of fire? Are you full of fire? Are you full of fire? Never yep. protruding, exaggerated, or showing white when looking straight ahead. Look at you. No. And then look at your mommy. Like His that. eyes aren't bulging at all. They're Perfect. nice and. Woo! Cha ching! He is. Thin, small, soft, like black velvet. Yes. They are so velvety. There are two kinds there are the button ear, which is an ear flap folding forward. Tip lying close to the skull to cover the opening. Mm -hmm. Or there is the rosebud ear, which is a small drop ear which folds over the back to reveal the burr. He's got the first one. Right. What else, Chelsea? Mouth. Mouth. Slightly undershot. Definitely undershot. Yeah, but it says slightly. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, that's, that's okay. No, but I mean, like, he's definitely ticking that box. Yeah. Wide lower jaw with incisors almost in a straight line. Yeah, I think Pablo would definitely fall short on this one just for the fact that the judge would never be able to open his mouth because he absolutely refuses to. Can I open it? Can I see your tooth? Ah, oh, good boy. Oh my god, he's clamping like mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Pablo, do you, do you even brush, mister? Okay, so I think he fails on that. His neck. neck should be slightly arched to resemble a crest, strong, thick, with enough length to carry the head proudly. Definitely. Is that not the point of a neck? I don't know the point. <laughs> He just doesn't carry his head like, oh. <laughs> his head does sit high up, like he's got a lot of neck. Like, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a thick neck. The I'm four quarters. The, f the what? The four quarters. 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 The what? <laughs> the four quarters. <laughs> well, tell us what it is first and then we'll decide. Legs very strong, straight of moderate length and well under body. Shoulders should well slope forwards. Okay, let's see your shoulders. Shoulders slope forward. Um, I don't know. His legs are very straight to his body and his shoulders. My only thing is, they're quite long. He has got, he has got long legs though, because if you look at, like, from a side profile. Legs, legs. What's on the menu? They shouldn't be stubby. I think he's got. I think he's got a lot of leg. Touch that body. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Yep. Short and cobby. Broad yep. in chest. Ribs well sprung and carried well back. Top line level, neither roached nor dipping. Good evening, sir. This is top British eloquium. Um, no. What is it? Vocabular. Elocution, is it? Um, we did schools. If you yeah. think about it, he is actually quite broad in his chest if they're doing it that way. I don't know which way they measure it. Because his yeah, chest it's is wider. broad and compared that's to his, his waist. That's his waist and that's his chest. I mean, is that just his rib cage? His chest But this, look at his body yeah. as well. His body is quite short. And it. Uh, no, I think he's got a. Smells cobby. <laughs> blah, blah. Feet! Tootsies! He fails on these, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Yep. So they should be not long like a hare, but not small and round like a cat. He's got perfect feet in that they're, aspect. They're weird. I've just I've only just noticed his feet they're really weird. It should be well split up the tall up the toes, sorry. Yeah. And the nails prominent pr pr predominantly black. Now his nails are not black. But oh no, that one's like light see that one's like light brown. You're disgusting! So that's a fail. Right. Tail! So it should be high set, tightly curled over the hip, and desirably a double curl. And so it's, it's over the hip. It's over the hip. It's a tight curl, it's high set, he's got a curl and a half though. If that literally just went up to like there, yeah. it'd be a double curl. Curls up more oh, than it does round. Like, like a nice scream scoop. So does he fail on that or does he pass? He passes on that he because passes. it doesn't say he needs like a double curl. What's next to you? Then we have court. Court? He's not wearing one? Oh, sure. Court. So yeah. It should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. Yep. Soft. Very soft. Yes. Short. Yeah. Yeah. Glossy. Yeah. Yeah. Neither harsh it. nor woolly. Well, you're not no. woolly. No, nice and soft. You can see that. Oh. Any striping or trimming of the coat which alters the length, texture, or outline must be penalised. Any striping or trimming. So it depends how his coat is more got, grown. He's got a. He's so, got like, one or two stripes there. He would get penalised for these stripings on his natural mark. I think if we brush that though, I think we might get away with that. So right. I, I'm going to say that was a pass. Colour. 
They should be silver, apricot, fawn or black. Each clearly defined to make contrast complete between colour, trace and mask. Yeah, he's got a really good contrast. Markings clearly defined, muzzle or mask, ears, moles on cheeks, thumb mark or diamond on forehead, a tray and trace as black as possible. Ears, mask, his little, his little cheek moles. His oh. ears are nice and black. Your markings are black. Your face is all black. You're doing quite good in that aspect, little fella. Size, the ideal weight is 6.3 to 8.1 kilos. Absolutely not. And should not be hard of muscle, but substance must be not must not be confused with overweight. Oh, sorry, I've read that wrong. Should be hard of muscle, but substance must not be confused with overweight. So this is where I think it's weird for Pablo because Pablo is a tall pug, and as we discussed before, his body isn't particularly stocky to his length of legs and stuff. But to get him stocky to a pug standard, he'd obviously have to put on quite a lot of muscle mass. Now he currently weighs about 9.4 kilos, so he's already overweight. Now if we put a muscle mass on top of him to get him to the breed standard in chest area, he's going to be weighing like 10 and a half, probably almost 11 kilos. Yeah, so he, is... He'd be way out because he's a tall pug and a big pug. No, but they do say the weight is just a guideline. That's not true because yeah, at think... the end of the day, if you look at Pablo and then you compare it to say Bella, I think Look how much shorter things, Bella was, she'd be a lot less weight. If we dropped him down to 8 kilos, like you said, well, he's never going to be breed standard then because he's going to look scrawny, yeah. isn't he? But right now, they're saying that he's maybe still got a little bit of chunk. Yeah, because if, but... if we took him down to the advised... If we took him down to the breed standard weight, he would look so thin, he'd have no muscle mass. So, what's next one, Chelsea? We're um, going gi to give that one a pass only because of it matches his size. It says, note... Male animals should have two apparently normal testicles fully descended. <laughs> yeah, so Pablo had to have his removed for medical reasons, otherwise he would have had two completely normal ones. You could you can get prosthetics. Do you want a little prosthetic ballsies so you can show off to all the boys in the park? So they won't sniff your butt and be like, where have they gone? Conclusion is Undefined. It's, it's very unclear. It's very up to interpretation. So I would say we think Pablo is a good looking pug. We thought we kind of hit the jackpot with Pablo. We think he's kind of a perfect example of a healthy pug. Maybe the breed standard needs to change because some of the stuff they advocate. Advocate? No. Advertise. 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 Yeah, whatever. That's it. What they're putting as a breed standard. Personally, again, like I say, it's all open to interpretation. Personally, I would say some of that stuff there that they talk about isn't particularly healthy. Like the mouth. It's because if they if they have if their nose is flat, then they're way more susceptible to breathing issues. Whereas Pablo, because his mouth his muzzles now turning out, that's giving him more room to be able to breathe properly. Yeah. So in my eyes, that's better. This is somebody somewhere's opinion. Yeah, it's all, well, that's what I'm saying. It's all it's, it's open to interpretation. Opinion. It's an opinion and based. When we go to the vets and the vets say that we've got a prime example and he's, of a and healthy... They, and they said he was overweight at one point. Yeah, we've got a prime example of a healthy, ideal pug in terms of cleanliness, grooming and, like, physical structure we look and after appearance. Him. Then that's all that matters. But if anybody here has any kind of connections to any kind of judges, even at, like like not crufts like just any kind of dog shows show them this video or just show them pablo leave a, a your opinions or their opinions in the comments just to see because see what the crap it would is. be interesting to see if he maybe could compete yeah. we aren't these meticulous groomers that spend hundreds of hours and thousands of pounds getting them to be perfect we aren't really ever we're not thinking about crufts we're just looking after them for the health you know just because we look after them because they're our dogs but it would be cool and I think it would make a good load of videos, to be fair, mm -hmm. if we tried to go for Crufts. And if he's not breed standard to be best in show, there's always the agility. Pablo would smash the agility. He would smash it out of the park. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, smash into it. Have you seen his eyesight? There's put, no way to do that. He could go in the working dog category. Collies, other fast dogs, he'd, he'd, beat, he'd beat a lot of them. Pablo versus Whippet. Oh, he'd, he'd, oh well, actually... <laughs> We know three whippets. Three let's whippets. See. Let's, host it. let's have a race. Mabel, Luna and Whippin Houston. <laughs> That's such a good name. Let's have a race. We'll have a race. Pablo versus every dog. Who's it? Who's it? 
Who is it? Is that what you think of breed standard? Who is it? What do you think of Croft? <laughs> so let us know in the comments if you think Pablo would be good in Croft and if we should maybe even try. I don't even know how to um what the heck apply are you do? or I don't even, I don't I've no idea what you have to you have to like win so many shows or do something or yeah. but he is fully Kennel Club registered, so he is Eligible he's, he's actually eligible. To, he's to eligible enter. to compete. He's completely eligible to compete. So is Winston. Winston might be a dark horse. Winston might turn out to be an absolute stunner. And we can do him yeah. instead. Pablo's disposable at, at the, the end moment. Of the day, we so. only use Pablo to get a few kind of subscribers and views, and then Winston's where the money's at. Mm. Mm. Go on, send the hit. I will wait. <laughs> Drop your hate comments down below. <laughs> We don't care, we're obviously joking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope it was a different kind of video. If you'd like to see Winston, we'll do one of these on Winston when he gets older. And yeah, just drop your comments down below, let us know what your thoughts are. And I hope you enjoyed seeing my face. Yeah, Chelsea wants to be involved in a lot more videos, so... Because I actually exist! What, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let her in some of the videos occasionally. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, drop your comments down below. Likes. I forgot how to do an outro, what do we do? Like, comment. Subscribe. Oh, yeah, that. Peace out. Peace out.